Oh, uh, dear. <laughs> I just narrated this video and then I pressed the off button on my record and it started to record. Okay. Let's try that again. It's early morning. Okay. Um, today we're going to discuss uh, what's happening with this field right here. Um, Ken L. Wheeler, aka Theoria. Apophasis cause a phase disparity, a phase shift. Um, I don't know what that means, um, but what I can see is that due to the fact that there are two poles on a magnet, um, the nanoparticle orientation is different. Now I have this light facing directly upwards vertical. The green lights are facing horizontal. So to show that yes, the nanoparticles must be orientated differently, all I've got to do is turn this sideways and they disappear. You see, now I'm at the same as the green and it's not showing the field on this side. But if I go 90 degrees, now we see the field. So the nanoparticles are obviously in a different direction. So that's what I believe about a phase shift, but I don't know anything about a phase shift. Uh, I just want Ken Wheeler to have a look at this so that he can get off his nonsense and uh, come to the real world and the real field. Um, so yeah, I say that one side of the field is going up and down and in and I so said the other side of the field is going down and up so it's a waveform and why is it a waveform? because all electricity and electromagnetism cause all uh, frequency waves so of course it's going to be a waveform so on top of a magnet there's a positive field and a negative field or the other way around depending on what electricians and people say but yeah there's an up and there's a down um, so if I orientate this vertically we'll see it so uh, now I'm going to put this through the hole. Uh, we've already seen that there is no reciprocating field because the field disappears right there as you go through the inertia line and then you see the top field gone, bottom field. What I'm going to try and show is where the fields spin around and meet. They meet on either side but one spins around and meets one side, one spins around and meets the other. So it kind of looks like a black hole sort of thing. But it's extremely difficult if you look on the left hand side there you'll see a line that, so you've got yellow, green, yellow I don't know if you can see that because I have to lean around the camera but the, le the bottom yellow spins around to the top and then spins underneath the green and the green spins around and is behind the green which means they join each other at the centre here and if I tip that down now I don't know if you can see that but you've got the pole there and yellow and green wrapped around it because it's two different fields so when I go through you see them alter position so there we've got yellow green yellow green because they swap at the inertial line and change places that one's going that way that one's going that way so one's going up one's going down, one's going up, one's going down, but the green in between shows through the inertia line where they swap places left hand side, right hand side where they travel underneath and over each other so uh, again, don't know what phase shift is but I'd like Ken Wheeler to look at this so that perhaps he can modify his wrong theory about magnets and get on the, uh, the right train because he's a smart bloke and I do like some of his work and I love his pictures but unfortunately he's got the wrong idea there's two fields on a magnet and they both meet at the inertial line because they have to because fields don't reciprocate they travel from one side to the middle wrap into the bottom field and then travel to the other pole one is pushing matter, one is pulling matter and that's why matter seems to reciprocate around a magnet with iron filings let's say but this shows there is no field in the middle otherwise that field wouldn't change and the fact that they're swapping sides is another thing and the fact that matter can move from one side to the other or one side to the other means that one's pushing, one's pulling and then underneath that one's pulling, one's pushing so they're both pushing and pulling to either side of the magnet because there's dominant and uh, there's dominant fields and then the one inside that field 
it is then reflected on the other side so they still reciprocate matter because their top field is pushing, bottom field is pulling. Bottom field is pushing, top field is pulling. And they go in two directions. So that's how matter supposedly reciprocates around a magnet. One's pushing, one's pulling. So it seems to go from one side to the other as if reciprocating, but it doesn't. They meet at the inertia line, as we can see. And I'm hoping you can see the where it actually meets them. They swap sides, green, yellow, green, green, yellow, green. You can see them mixing colours as one is underneath, one is on top. So there we go. So again, more proof that we meet at the inertial line. And these two colours show the phase shift of different nanoparticles facing different directions because they're two different fields. And then they swap sides and change orientation, which is why the colours merge on the inertial line. Thanks very much. My name is Lee, and God is changing all current magnetic theory to the correct theory that magnets don't reciprocate because the true magnetic field is the shape of everything, a person, everything above, everything below. We don't reciprocate, but nor do magnets. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ, and I'm trying to show you all the things he showed me so that we can all come to a correct knowledge of God and be saved. Thanks a lot.